Happy Thursday, everyone. Day, the day before Ellie Bear's 10th birthday. And I would do this on her birthday, but Ben's not gonna be home and I wanted him to participate. And so we're headed to my rabbit's vet who has saved her life not once but twice this year. And we're gonna take them some treats in honor of her being able to celebrate her 10th birthday because of them. So we stopped at Martin's beforehand to get um, some cupcakes. I wanted to have dessert to go with the lunch. And I figured it was a safe bet that pizza would be something that most people would be okay with. And if you look at the box right here, it says recycle. I like that. These cupcakes look so yummy. I love whipped icing better than buttercream. Here's the card that I had made. And that's the crocheted hat Jade made for her. I just wanted to show my appreciation to them. They literally spent one hour at one of her appointments showing us how to give her an IV at home, how to administer all her medications. They truly saved her life. We also stopped at the Dollar Tree and they had all their Easter stuff out and I found these cute little gnomes. I thought they were adorable. They got their seeds. If any of you are going to be a part of the pepper in a can challenge or the tomato micro dwarf in a can challenge for tomato obsession and pepper obsession, I thought these bell clo cloches would be good at like um to put over the cans. It's like a humidity dome. And then the Dollar Tree also has a lot of awesome options um, as far as pots go for like, especially if you are growing micro dwarfs. And then they also have these, which have wheels, which are awesome for under pots. And then I saw these really cute like little candy dishes. A couple of different options. This one was kind of neat. It's got a little lid. It's like a cookie jar, but I'd keep candy in it. And then I saw these baskets, which I had an idea for. Neat. And then I was looking for something as far as to save seeds in. I need to get myself organized and I found these in two different sizes. And then also these, but I don't think these would work very well. So that size has six and then these were a little smaller and they had eight. And then Dollar Tree also has these resealable baggies. They're a little big for tomato seeds or pepper seeds, but if you were storing like a lot of flower seeds or something, they would work for that. I thought I'd do a little haul for you of what we got today at the Dollar Tree and Martin's. So I got some M&Ms. My favorite's the peanut. Everybody else likes the chocolate, but I like to fill my little, my party bowls here. These are Christmas candy that needs to be eaten up and then the rest of it is. And so when this is gone, which I hope is soon I'll fill the rest with the rest of the M&Ms, but I actually ate the rest of these. These will go into the candy drawer here. Then, of course, to celebrate Bear's birthday tomorrow, she's not going to have any, but I got some chocolate and vanilla cupcakes. I got her this. It's called Side Salad Fruits and Berries. She doesn't get much of this kind of thing because she's very prone to being getting overweight, so I have to limit her fruits and dried fruits like that. But I also got her a fresh bag of peanuts. So I'm gonna take the what's left in her tub and dump that out to the squirrels. And then I'm gonna refill it with these fresh peanuts. So I get her the jumbo roasted and unsalted. You don't wanna get salted. because They can chew and eat up the outside of the peanut. She doesn't very much. She just likes the actual peanut. At the Dollar Tree, so this that was all Martin's stuff. At the Dollar Tree, I found these cute little gnome, Easter gnome, with bunny ears. And then I saw these sprinkles. Well, I guess it's not sprinkles. They're colored sugar crystals. We're not huge fans of sprinkles, but we do like these sugar crystals on our, like, um, when we make cookies. Which I think might have been in the last vlog where we made, um, 
I like to make holiday themed cookies, <laughs> sugar cookies and decorate them. Then I like to get my, I don't even know if it's a good deal, but I get a lot of my notebooks from uh, the Dollar Tree. And these are the, the notebooks that I do my to-do lists in, or I have like a little notebook that has my tomato wish list. I have another notebook that has my tomato seed trades in. Uh, YouTube ideas like I have little notebooks for everything and then th these were the ones my husband got they're kind of interesting <laughs> I'm not sure what he's using those for but then I saw these baskets and I thought to myself if I did this and put a basket and then took some of those like uh, uh, I don't know what you call them like steak thingies down in between here to hold it down to the ground if this would work it's kind of small but if this would work to cover some of my seedlings especially my gourd seedlings that the squirrels or the chipmunks or birds or something wanted to dig up. I thought well, maybe these would work, but I'm going to make some of my own too, because I, of course I'm going to have a lot of seedlings. And then I saw these, my husband had this, I'll come back to those. They had these, which I think is a pretty good deal. So the littlest ones, the littlest pots, you get six of those for $1.25. Then they had these medium pots where you get four. And then they had one size bigger. And I can't remember, I think you got maybe three or two of them for $1.25. So I got some more of those because I'm thinking that these would be a good size for underneath of my micro tomatoes. I've got 45 different varieties that I'm going to try to grow this spring and especially in the summer the pots will dry out really quickly and I thought well if I had this full of water then they might not dry out as quickly and then this is a good deal too they had these to go under in your flower pots that you keep on your deck with wheels so I got a couple of those because I do have a couple out on my deck that have these kind underneath and they don't last very long like especially if they're out for an entire season and winter the sun and you know the elements just kind of break down the plastic so i got those and then what what i was saying about these i got these to put seeds in because my husband got this it was like for fishing like you put your it's like a tackle box sort of but it, he wanted to use it for a lunch box so he took all the boxes out of it let me show you what the, I want to see if these fit inside those boxes all right so here's let me see if I can get a better view get these out of the way so here's a this little box so it came with like eight of these maybe more I'm not even sure but it had these little separators in it I think I just dropped one on the floor as I was coming down the stairs but let me see if these fit in here So those fit in there good like that. And let's see here. I could probably get more in here if I get rid of the dividers. But I need a better way to, for my seed swap seeds, especially this year since I'm going to have so many new varieties. Something that like the label is on the top and I can just pop one of these open and know exactly. Because the system I have now is just absolute chaos. It's just a big Ziploc baggie with a bunch of little seed packets and I have to take them all out to find the ones that I need. But I think this would work better. But I think that would hold a good amount of seeds to trade. And you know, I could even, you know, double up, have two of the same types. Yeah, I think that would work. I need to go back and get, I think I have some of these from another project I was gonna do, so I need to go and locate them. But that's what my plan was for those. Oh, and I wanted to show you, what else did I wanna show you? Where is that? Oh, here it is. So I showed you the card this morning that I gave to the uh, vets, and then this is the one that we got for ourselves. And to remember uh, her birthday picture for, but, let me show you. So we're in the kitchen and then this would have been the dining room. It has never been a dining room. We've never had a dining room table in here. This has always been the playroom for my daughter when she was younger. She's now 20. So it has become the craft room. This area here is my husband's mess. And then this is where my daughter keeps all of her um, crafting stuff, all of her crochet yarn. There's more over here, just yarn. 
and we keep our games. He built these shelves. These were shelves that he built. This is one of the first things he built. So they're not, they're kind of warped because it's been so long. But she put a pegboard up here to hold her stuff. All of these tubs underneath here hold paints and paint brushes and different fabrics and things for her crafting over here is back behind here we have a tub this is the big tub that i keep ellie bear's uh paper shreddings because oh she's using the bathroom right now so bear is right there and she is potty trained hi bear hi ellie bear this right here my husband built for her and Stu. Stu was her mate we got them at the same time he passed away a little bit before he was eight so she's now by herself, but he built this. This is, I'm not sure how big this is, but it's two cubes by four cubes. And the doors always stay open. So she pretty much has the run of this entire room. And if we leave this door open, she goes out into the kitchen and comes into the living room sometimes to visit us. But it's got four stories. Each one has a ramp to go up. She doesn't come up to the third or the fourth floor that much anymore. Now that she's quite a bit older, she pretty much stays to the first and second floor for the most part, but we just put down, now she's chewed up some of the, but this was just uh, this kind of flooring right here. And you can see where she has chewed the wood. They chew the wood down. And uh, this was mostly Stu. Stu used to do this. She doesn't really do it that much. She's got a little, let me see if I can show you. Excuse me, bear. Excuse me. This is where I keep her hay, and it's a bear. Stop, I'll put it back, I promise. Um, it's a carrot. It's a, a carrot-shaped bowl. I got it at, like, tractor supply one year. There you go. I'll put it back. There's your hay. But you can see I can make toys out of the plastic lids. Here's toys out of some riffraff and toilet paper, so you can see she'll chew on these just you know gives her something to do there's also a couple of phone books she likes to chew up phone books paper towel rolls but a lot of times she really enjoys this right here we got this this is turf so there was a football field <clears throat> near where we live and they were redoing it and they were just giving away the turf so we went and got two giant rolls of it. And I use it for deck rugs and for the animals. Because cats like it too. But this is the pet room slash craft room. There's her tunnels she likes to run around in. This is the cat tower. And then my husband built this thing right here. So it goes all the way up. And there's a little platform. And there's this. And then a little place for... This is where Rona likes to sleep. And it goes over, and then this is where the other cat, COVID, likes to sleep. And then there's more, like, but as I was saying before, these are little strollers that we will put the cats in and take them for a walk sometime. But this is the corner where I store all my seeds. It's not the best, and I think at some point, this might be where I put my seed dresser. I don't know. I mean, this would be a good spot for it, but then we'd have to, like, do something else with this. It's it's growing, and <laughs> there's seeds in here. I just, I need it, I need it to be more organized. It kind of gives me anxiety. This is the animal room, and all, everything up here is Ellie's stuff. Her food, um, we have pet clippers, because we actually have to, she's so fluffy, she can't clean herself very well, and so she has to have a, I call it her bikini wax, but we have to shave her butt so that she doesn't get real messy down there. And this is the bowl and the towels that sometimes we have to give her a little soak before we shave her. And there's her little birthday hat, Jade crocheted her, and her tub of peanuts. I'm going to take these out to the squirrels and put the fresh ones in here. Okay, I need to shoot this clip and fit it in somewhere because I've had uh, a few people ask me about these. Um, it's a fridge and a freezer side by side. What is it? It is, ah, it's Kenmore Elite. And we've had these for probably, gosh, we've lived here. Jade's 20. 
We've lived here 16 years. For the first year, we just had a white fridge and it was right here because this cupboard was right here where this one ends. And right there is where, what do you call that? I forget what you call that. Right there is where that ends and you can kind of see because it's starting to crack up there. So that needs to be fixed. He wanted these so badly that he ended up locating the person that put these cupboards in because you couldn't find them in stores anywhere. And he commissioned him to build us another one identical to this one. And then he took this and moved it over and then added on, gosh, what is that thing called? I'll figure it out, but <laughs> these weren't the original fridges that we had. We had a different kind. I can't remember what kind, but obviously not as good as these because I believe that kind lasted us only a couple of years. And then I, I think it was the fridge that went kaput. And the downside to having these is if they don't still sell them, you either have to deal with the fact of having you know, a fridge and a freezer that don't match, or you have to buy them both again, which is what we did decided on doing. This was years ago because I believe the first set we had, we got a couple years after we moved in, and then they only lasted a couple of years. Well, the one fridge only lasted a couple of years. We couldn't find the matching fridge for the freezer, so we ended up selling the freezer for a good deal because it wasn't that old. And then he purchased uh, this set, which has lasted us, I, it's been over 10 years, I think. And it's, you know, doing really well. That's how this all came about. This wasn't here to begin with. The right side's the fridge. And so as you can see, it's, you know, usually pretty full. It's got a couple of drawers at the bottom. And then it's got a drawer, we, we use this as the cheese drawer. All the cheeses are in there. And then up top, I don't know why we always use up top, but it's like ends up being the condiment area. Sometimes the drink area. But then on the door, there's a place for like butter and whatnot. And one, two, three, four, and then a really big one here at the bottom where you can put, again, more condiments. As you can see, we enjoy doctoring up our food. That is the inside of the fridge. And we really like it. And then as far as the freezer, it does have an ice machine. So there's that. And then, you know, it's, it's pretty spacious. I'll try to figure out the dimensions of it, but it's got two baskets down here. So we keep like veggies here. And then I keep like all the meats in the bottom here. A bunch of other, odds and ends and I have to thank you guys because <laughs> how you guys wanting this clip made me get in here and kind of organize and reorganize because I didn't want it to look like a hot mess and then it's got one two this basket here is where we keep all of our ice packs three four you know on the door here a bunch of places for you to store stuff as well so there you go guys the big fridge and freezer that you see behind me in a lot of my videos we love it and it's really nice. My husband just likes to come in and grab both handles and just stand here like this with them wide open like a butthole, <laughs> letting all the cold air out. And I'm always yelling at him. He's like, but this is why I got them. I just wanna come in and just uh, open them up. <laughs>